So hold off for a minute. You robbed CDC CEO and you think that's going to make you win the league somehow? I will rather take Martinez yes. over Van Der Veen, yes. Ruben Diaz, yes. Gabriel. Gabriel. Yes. Wait, what about Saliba? Is Bam Martinez world class? Yes. Take would you take Martinez over Van Dyke? I would take Martinez over Van Dyke. All things have passed away and all things have come. <laughs> that's, 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 that's my United right now. Okay. It doesn't make logical sense. You've won more Premier League titles than us. You've won more of anything. More is expected of my United than is your Spurs. Am I lying? Put in the comments, please. Who is worse? Arsenal fans or my United fans? The closest thing to the Arturi, I don't care what you say. Ruben loves his cheek. When they stone you, I will be part of them. Why? So... Man, you, man, you, man, you, man, you. I'm joining people today. Yes, sir. So, Mr. Man, yes, you want to talk to us about your shitty team? No. I'm ready to hear. I think <coughs> it's a, because this is what the first time we've been together now recording an episode for the year, so I believe it's good to start off with good news. So, it's very much so on record. Like last year, I was complaining about uh, structure and structure and injuries being a very big problem for us being the case and um like it seems that god heard my my cries my prayer because structure has now changed structure is changing currently we have a new owner we've yanked you know what i'm saying just yank city's chain a bit we are ceo you know what i'm saying um we're looking at more different recruitment trying to well effectively unify have one direction one philosophy so hold off for a minute you robbed city ceo and you think that's going to make you win the league somehow listen yeah I'm it's not there. a matter of is, is it that like, i told you man i'm a strategist not a tactician so you are looking at city's move too one-sidedly when we want to demi when uh, it's our career when you want to analyze let's say a company or a fund and you're looking it's at the statement when you want to do that yeah you, you don't look for just one one is not enough you need to be more sure assurance you know you have to look at more symptoms more signs for whether it being good or bad collecting a good and competent and well-tested ceo not just for my city but the city group isn't going to be oh this is why you win no no no, no. it's a good and great sign that's what it is so you are robbing, you are robbing cities people to try to. We are getting league. the best of his class. But why can't you not go somewhere else? Why are you going to rivals team? Why are you eating on your? Why are you eating shit on your own doorstep? That's what everyone was gonna ask. Are you gonna win? When are you gonna win the league then? There's more of a chance of Spurs winning the when league. When you man come, we'll fight for Champions League again. Maybe we'll Whoa. probably win it again. Whoa. So anyways, we like want I was more saying, recently than you. Like I was I don't saying, even want to argue. Like, I don't even want to argue. Like I was, whoa, whoa. Like I, was I don't saying, want to argue. Like I was saying. Anyways, guys, welcome back to the most underrated podcast on the internet right now. I am with Heady and Sam. And Sam is explaining to us about why for some reason my United we're, we're good. are going to be back again, quote unquote. Listen, the, the back again quote here has now commenced because you can't say you're back and it's the same shit just redesigned with another flower. That's, you can't, we can't say that. And that's what we've been for the past decade since Fergie left. That's what we've been. I'll, I'll be honest. I'll, I'll be honest. We can't just say manager. Ma every new manager that we change trying to fix things here is just a different flower. Either it be a daisy, sunflower, Marino, um, Louis van Gaal in the same shit. But now it's different. We actually don't got shit no more. We got fertilizer. You know what I'm saying? Other stuff can grow. Guys, look. My problem with your team is you're doing the same thing over and over again. Hmm. You keep thinking because you win something and it's you do this and you do that, somehow there's going to be change. That's why I said, Demi, you're not a you. strategist, you're a tactician. You're it's looking, at, you're looking too short term. It's, it's not about strategy, it's not about tactics. It's like what I said to you. They haven't come to realization they're never going to be that good again. Okay. Okay. The old thing, you know, you know, you know that Bible verses, all things are passed away and all things have come. <laughs> that's 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 my United right now. Okay, all things have passed away. Oh, my United had their time, okay. it's no more. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't know when you're going to come to that realization. Okay. You have tried, no Sam. No, let's be honest, you have tried. You and it's not even me saying in a bad way. You have bought the players, it didn't work. You have brought the managers in, it didn't work. You have spent the money, it didn't work. What is going to change? Bro. Bro. You think bringing in a guy 
what's his name? What's that one's name? Sir Lord, whatever they call him. Sir Jim Ratcliffe. That Ratcliffe or whatever they <laughs> call him. Ah. Whatever they call him is really going to bring this change to my United. Yes. The only the only way you yeah. were going to bring that change was with that um Qatari guy. No. Who they who then who do you see what they went to go and try to do? That he did not have the money. You went to go and tell an oil man he didn't have the money. Demi. I know. Wait, I use people mad. Demi. No, wait. No, before answer my question, you United, the United, the creators went to go and tell an oil man and a bank gave seal of approval that they'll give them the loan. Are you people on like? Demi, you're not seeing the vision. I don't mind. Where, where, how long has this vision been? You're not seeing the vision. Where? How long has the vision been? It came recently. You want to check in the post? Demi, listen. Right Excuse now, me. <laughs> It, if it, no, trust me, it didn't come recently. It came recently. You know, crazy. Because in the time you've been trying to build that vision. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hold on, no, hold on. No. Our vision, yeah. you've been trying to build Our that vision, vision is very new. It's you very, you very went new. from a teen to an adult. I swear. In that time. Ah. At least, at least, look, everything, everything. Let me, I'm let still me. within that time. Spurs are win none. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, but again, it's crazy you people, you know what the funny thing is about recent, this? Is this. See what I mean? See this, this is what I mean. United recently, deflection yeah. king. This is deflection king. Recently, and you that have been quiet. I'm not. I'm not even done with I you. But you, this is what I want to deal with first because no we have way. to deal with you. No way. Because you're saying that we haven't won anything. I don't get this thing about Spurs when you, you I'm being and I'm going to say this as a Spurs. So I'm going to be honest. Why do you treat? keep trying to compare Spurs to Man United. It doesn't make logical sense. You've won more Premier League titles than us. You've won more of anything. More is expected of Man United than is of Spurs. Am I lying? But why do... Okay, then... So my so problem with you is okay. that your fans keep doing this bullshit of you lose two, 10 games and you magically think because you win one or two games, your thing is going to change. Life does not work like that. It's not that... That's why I said that you're not looking at it the way we're looking... Sorry, correction. You're not looking at it the way that... For example, me, yeah, let it be said, I'm a pessimistic motherfucker when it comes to, when it, especially when it comes to my, my team. Cause I, because at the end of the day, you can't argue with facts. We haven't been any, any shell of how we used to be back in the day. However, the reason why, let's say, um, supposedly recently, I, I'll go with the recent one, yeah, why you see a lot more buzz and a lot more feeling despite the losses won. Our injuries, our players from injuries are coming back. They were cr- no, they fuck mean. me and injuries, man. man Jeez, were you not gi- wait? Were you not fuck giving out to your brother about this a while fuck ago? Off injuries, honestly. I you remember know, you I, saying my this. argument. My argument to Eddie was that my argument to Eddie was that we've also have injuries too, injury players too. That yeah, was my yeah, argument. Yeah, but these have a full eleven of injuries. You had a few we still injuries. We have bad injuries. Like we yeah. had bad injuries. We too. have. What are you talking? Tell me, uh, tell me, what? No, no, you, you, you guys now are actually being very dishonest because we're not going to act like literally the season last year, yeah, the season prior, the mistakes that was with our system, it was literally changed pretty much overnight. Let's say when we signed key specific players, without those same key specific players, our system doesn't work, and all of a sudden you're saying when what, we lose those players, then player? oh, we should still be working. What? When Martinez came in last year, he was key. When Shaw was there, he was key for us last year. Same thing with Rashford, he was key for us last year. Okay. Even even Anthony, God bless him, yeah, in his own... Actually, no, I take that back. But <laughs> even know, Anthony... Yeah, I looked at you, you looked at me, and you, and I was like, if he even tries what he's no, done... Anthony, Anthony, wait, hold on. I'm saying... This is what I'm comparing from last year. Last year, Casemiro, last year. Even Casemiro last year. Ericsson, for the love of God, last year as well. We had players here that was key to our actual way of playing. Mm. Our build up, our style, the whole lot. And we cannot. We, if you're if you're saying that oh, it was just because you lose this man, boom, 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 that's dishonesty. Because the same way we played last year, we, we didn't play the year before. Or are we? Go, are you going to disagree with that? That was the same way that we played last year. Yeah, we didn't play that same way the year before. Yeah, oh, because you didn't have the same manager. We didn't have the same players. We didn't have the same manager either. We didn't have the same player. You played, but you played better under Louis, um, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer than you are playing under Ten Hag right now. You do realize that. in this current season, I'm talking about in terms of right now because what we're using as a comparison is even last how we were. To be honest, what are you talking about even last year? <laughs> you finished second with Ole, no? Yeah, you finished second. You finished second with Ole. You finished second with Ole. But Maguire sent him back. I still, I guess, I still never understood like why he's got rid of that guy. To be honest with you, yeah, when I when I look back and I reflect, because while mind you, when we did start calling, it was going it was going bad, yeah, man, and when, we fucked only. We, we, but when every, it came but to the thing it. I don't understand, like, look, I hate Arsenal with a passion, and I genuinely, I I hate my United more than I hate Arsenal, but I still huh? hate Arsenal more. 
I hate your team. I genuinely, yeah, I despise I your team, man. But the thing, I, the thing about it is, I can see what Arteta is trying to do. Maybe it's not working as well as it wants to. Yeah. But what, like, and I understand. But see, the thing is, he got given time. He had this shit party. You know, he had his bad runs. Arteta. Arteta had his bad. Remember when um, there was a time that um, they literally had was it? Um, it was mem- Lacazette, Pepe. Lacazette, uh, was Pepe. Not, not Lacazette. Remember, there was a time that Arsenal basically. Oh my God! Why is it not coming to my head? Aubameyang. No, it wasn't about the team. Remember, they they were like a top of Tottenham for such a long time, mm. and they came down to like the last couple of games, and, and then they yeah, finished yeah, below Tottenham. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's when they had a bad run. I understand, yeah. but they're getting better. You man, I don't know what. Like, I know you blame structure. You can blame structure and say structure is a structure that you just don't. Ha- it 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 just it comes from your fans as well. Whenever a manager is doing, our bad, fans like, are not worse than Arsenal fans. I'm not letting that one. What do you mean? Our fans are not worse than Give Arsenal people fans. People in the comments, please. Who is worse, Arsenal fans or my United fans? Our fans. So, yeah, I'm actually going to ask this. I want to ask this a genuine question. Any, I want people to right who is who which fans are the worst set of fans my united fans are arsenal fans i want everybody to answer that question for me and explain to me why that's interesting because i think your fans are worse i think Arsenal fans are worse i hate arsenal fans but your your fans are worse no no, no, arsenal yeah. fans. no. because no there, there's no the, the same way that arsenal yeah mm. let's say when they won the run and it looked like because i maybe you because then, then me i'm not going to use you as the average fan of of to to as a comparison because you he had zero faith as i'm going to win the prem last year because i knew they no uh, no i didn't have faith okay, that's okay that's, say, that's you people, that's that's you people you know. me i had serious heart trepidation i was actually very worried that those guys would pull it off yeah. and because of that year this and the same way as what i absolutely abhorred the way the fans were acting you seen how the fans were acting when they, when they looked like they were going to win you seen it as well it was hell it was actually genuine yeah. hell well, let, let me explain that to you like why i knew they weren't going to win the league and it was down to one thing it's understanding. You know when people say experience yeah. versus the youth mentality. Yeah, it's like, and this is this is kind of kind of bridging to what we want to talk about to do with um, Arsenal celebration. There's just so like for some for people who have achieved not a lot under Arteta because they've only won the charity seat in the FA Cup. If I'm correct, please. Mm-hmm. Af- they want to. They want to. They want the charity seat in the FA Cup. When you're celebrating the way they were, they were they were coming with too much arrogance. Like we have done it already. Yeah. When they didn't remember, there's a there's a team called Manchester City Hello. that is has a manager called Pep Guardiola, yeah. who has who has who underst like he's the head teacher of all these people. He understands he understands the game better than all of them. Mm. You cannot come down and they were just doing too much when they haven't crossed the finish line. Like, I don't think sometimes they actually realize how seriously bad what they've done was. Nobody in the history of football, Sam, from the start when football to the finish, has ever done what Arsenal done. Like, I don't... Und- and I hate when people say, oh, it's just a spursy thing. Do you know how arsy it is to be on the league for, what's it, 97%? Of the season mm-hmm. and to finish second. Do you know how big it is to talk your game up that big and to finish second? Do you know how big it was that they were saying that you saw some of them on AFTV? We're coming home. We're going to beat them. We're going to beat them. We're going to have them. Who did they capitulate to? Was it not Crystal Palace? Um, it was Southampton. 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 Oh, fuck. squad. Mm. <laughs> oh, see. Yeah. Ironic. <laughs> I swear. Um, no, we'll see. Actually, remember when they had? Remember because City when had two went games in hand. Remember when City had two oh. games in hand and City dealt with them. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is the thing. I th- I think you know, this come. You know that especially Jamie Carragher said something, and I want to see what you think about this. Right. He said like the what did he say again? He said basically like was it Jamie Carragher or Gary Neville? They basically said they were doing too much when they were celebrating. They were bored them. Wow. Yeah. I don't think. I I the reason why I I hear I hear I hear it on um, I hear it from I hear it on their part because it's just like. What are you celebrating for? Mm. It's like, are you now celebrating that you bet Liverpool? Which, okay. At the end of the day, three points is three points. Spurs didn't jump around. Yes, fair enough. I will say here, Liverpool did get robbed. We can see it. But you didn't see us jumping around celebrating the win. So, why you... What My thing is, why were you celebrating that? Why were you celebrating the way you did? 
Mm. Was it because you bet Liverpool? Was it because you feel like you're back in a title race? Or was it because you're finishing the top four? Because if you're doing that celebration because you think you're back in the title race, you're very crazy. If you're doing it now because you're finishing the top, you're, you have a good chance of finishing the top four, I understand. But what do you think about it? I think that the celebrations were... I, I didn't like the celebrations. Odd guy taking picture of the of the what the <laughs> photographer mm. i tried to jump it around like a monkey like i but, know but Klopp does the same thing as well see the thing is you see when Klopp does it club I, I know i even when Klopp does it, it pisses me off but like carriger his, his intentions were in the right place because he was salty that they lost mm. so he should not really be saying it that's a, that's why i see why their fans are angry about it but yet again they have they haven't won anything though right now they're not doing it they're still third right now and city still have to play after after they play today, so like Aston are not. See, he played yesterday. Yeah, no, but they still have a, oh, yeah, still yeah, have a game yeah, in hand. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. So like Aston, that that win was better for City than it was for Aston, because now City have have a chance ah, to I go and City to and see there. go go back against Liverpool and then. Do you know it's us? It's us fans' fault as well about this whole City team. Do mm. you know what it actually is? It's yeah. us fans are actually feeling City. I'll explain to you why. If Spurs were going to try for the go for the challenger for the league, yeah, Arsenal fans are going to want City to win the league. Mm. If Liverpool are challenging for the league, United fans are going to start magically supporting City. Mm. If Chelsea are going to win the league, going for the league, every league, every team in London is supporting City. Yes. We as fans are the problem. Are why mm. City are doing these things yes. at this point now? I'm I hate to say this, I'm getting to the point now. I'd rather see Arsenal win the league than City. I'd rather see Liverpool win the league. I'd rather see some. I'm just tired of seeing City win it. There's no. I'd rather you know, see I, I know, you know, you know, you know why I don't. I, 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 don't I, much I hate to say it. It's just getting to the point now. It's just becoming like, oh, for fuck's sake, like. I'd rather see. Him you see, the thing is, I'd rather see City win it again because I hate Arsenal fans so much. I don't want to go on TikTok every day of my life for the summer. Every time, I just take your time with it. Every, you know, that, oh my God, it's going to go through my head. I don't want to see th- but, this, this but, particular Astro fan tick that would just be coming did up. You see, did you see um, the supercomputer that predicted them? Um, what was it? They said that City were 67, 66% chance to win the league. Then it said um, Liverpool were 33 Arsenal were like 10 and Tottenham were like 1%. <laughs> and then someone questioned Poster Gogo. So the supercomputer said 1% that you're going to win the league. And he goes, so what? You don't think we can win the league? The guy was like, uh, 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 mm. I didn't say that. <laughs> well, I just a prick. <laughs> I don't know. I can't say Spurs. I, I don't look. The, everybody here wants to see their team win the league. Out of all the teams here right now, my team is the closest chance mm. to doing that, which I'm not saying they will. Mm. So, but again, this is the Premier League. We've seen a team... We've seen the RCS, I'm going to call them RC bottlers, bottle a 97% top of the table lead. This The Premier League is very unpredictable. Right. Because two bad runs of games could change the whole thing for everybody. Because mm-hmm. if Spurs are on 47 and... Um, Spurs are on 47 points and City are... No, Liverpool are on 54 points, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me check the Premier League table. Premier League. While I'm looking for this, um, what do you think, fam? Yeah, so, oh, Jesus Christ. I think I went in Trina. Fuck off. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm not messing. I just went. Where are they playing? West, West Ham. Ham. Are we? <laughs> Fuck me. I hope, imagine Declan Rice scored. That would be so. That would be saltiness, man. He would not make it out of London Stadium. Yeah, Saliba, Saka, um, Gabriel scored again. Gabriel is playing well this season, yeah. isn't he? But, like, look at it now, right? So, as it stands, Spurs are on 47 points, Arsenal are on 52, City are on 52, and Liverpool are on 54. All it takes, if two of these teams have a bad run against, the Spurs have one good run against, two good runs against, the league has changed. Mm. Yeah. Like, I think I remember seeing the points is like a six team title run. With the way the points is the points are like well, it's, better, it's a better watch though, isn't it? But yeah. it's man, I feel like at least and you man are probably gonna come at me for it, but like I feel like at the end of the day, even though it's like okay, a cool, cool, a good watch, at the end of the day, just to see the same team win it. Honestly, 
with the same sort of criticisms we dashed to the Bundesliga about um, Bayern Munich consistently have that's well, this, so different though. this way this year yeah is obviously a bit it's looking a bit different well, yeah we'll get on to that yeah but like I'm like seeing on the thing of the same criticism we give them like how they are like let's say a one a one league a one um league team yeah mm. but like the my city guys, are about to win it four times in a row yeah but that's so different because four is it not six it's times f- it's four, 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 four in a row four, four in a row yeah, yeah, but the thing is Bundesliga is so different because it's it's literally that top four is probably the top four that happens every year. Wait, we'll get onto this, guys. So we could okay. So where we uh, so like we can just finish this Arsenal thing. So I had two questions. I had a question. Do Arsenal get too much six at times for certain things? And if you agree, why? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. But it's standard. It's going to come. Do you think it's you? deserved? Yes. Yes. No, actually, no. That's dishonest. No, it's not. It's not. It's I, really think, I think it's they think they're better than what they are. That's what it is. I think they. That's exactly what it is. I think Arsenal think they're better than what they are. But because you have to be that delusional. Though. Yeah, but there's, 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 there's a different. There's a delusional. I'm proving it on the pitch. Proving it. Because you can't think. Oh, you can't be doing all this thing now, right? And then what? Well, okay. And they go lose. They go lose to some stupid team next week again. Mm. What excuse are you going to give again? I understand there has to be a bit of delusion in these things, but there has to be a bit of. We have to prove ourselves on the pitch, not doing all these things, talking all these ways, going on Twitter saying these certain things. Mm. But but be, okay, then in that case, I say I kind of step in in their foot a little bit as well. Because mind you, they did bottle. I mean, I'm never going to. Yeah, they, they, bo- they did what they, they, they did. They did. Yeah, they, 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 the way I'm even stretching <laughs> is what they were doing. Right. They <laughs> fucked up. I swear, but and, and mind you, that's the case. But for them, yeah, then if if you're following that journey. Yeah, you're not seeing it just like that. You're seeing it though. Oh, not only are we delusional yet, but we're proving it. They proved it for them. They can, you can also see on the other hand that for 97% of the season last year, they proved it. Even this year, they're not doing bad. Like, mind you, they're not the same, quote unquote, they, they, they don't have the same danger that I saw that they had at the start last season. Okay, but, but this is like different. This, right? But like they this. proved it like in that Yeah, I know, I know that, but look at it like this. Let's say, just let's say if Haaland and De Bruyne didn't get injured, not, yeah, but then, then that's where I contact your point straight away. Let's say that Madison and Van der Veen didn't get injured. Exactly. What about because they didn't get injured? You have to remember, before I, before those two got injured, you know Spurs had lost the game? Mm. They Spurs had lost 10 games. That's when they, that, that match is when they capitulated against you. No, my sense. Spurs had not lost the game. Mm. So, it's now, you're talking about injuries. No, but what, what he's trying, I'm, I'm, I just, no, because what you're trying to say, your team is still shit regardless anyway. All right. Um, All right. Okay. Wait a minute, you're saying all right like that. You didn't have injuries in the that Champions League run and you're out. So please. What do you I mean we hate. didn't have injuries? Yes, we fucking did. Who was injured? Who was injured? Martinez I... was injured. Guys, stop with this Martinez what? thing. You Martinez, Martinez, Martinez. You might, you I, I might understand yeah. if it's more than one. I understand This if... disrespect on my life. This disrespect that you keep putting towards my center back. So fucking what is 5'9? Have you man not seen absolute physical talent? We literally. Have you not? It's like it's incomprehensible that somebody could be not the traditional build, yeah, and he could still be one of the best you can ever play. Why, why does that go beyond you? Why does that? Why does that threaten your football philosophy? It's not. It's it just does Martinez, because it's that you same. You make Martinez sound bro, like he's prime, like he's prime Ferdinand same, or something. Oh, that's because you man don't watch him. I watch United all the time because I want to slag you. So don't say I don't watch thank him. Thank you, Martin. If, if we that's won. the case, that means you're watching it with biased No, eyes. I'm not. Yes, I'm you are because, because that's same. I'm coming for you. Is that same? Because no. I don't. I don't see what you don't see. I just don't see him as good. He's okay, but you're he's making not, him sound like he's oh great. Yo, no, you're God. making him sound. So let me ask you a question, Martinez. Is he better than? Is he better than um? Van der Veen. Van der Veen. Yes, I'm taking Martinez over Van der Veen. I'm mad. I'm Van taking Van der Veen. I'm you're what? taking Martinez over Van der Veen. I'm taking Man. I'm taking no, him. Sam, if anything, that's yeah, just crazy. If anything, I'm. Sam, if anything, I'm like, pairing Martinez with Van der Veen. If no, anything, which one are you taking? I'm Martinez taking Martinez or Van der Veen. Okay, I'm taking about, Martinez. About Gabriel? I'm taking my. That's not even. I'm not even. That one, I'm not even hesitating. It's Martinez. Okay, okay. Martinez. Diaz. Martinez. Ah! Diaz. Ruben Diaz. Martinez. This guy's. Guy this guy's. Guy Fuck you. This is the same. Mart- no, Mart- Mart- remember. Martinez, guess, it's on. It's on the record. No. Fuck that. It's on the record here. Yeah. I said it in a couple. I can't remember which episode I said it. I said there's a mentality when it comes to English and Irish football here yeah, where you have a specific mold that you want in place and you absolutely refuse okay, okay. to actually change it. Okay. Because that's why Ange Gomez, a fucking defensive midfielder, but because of his height and the way people perceive how certain players should be, they had him play right wing, bad him playing cam, but he's one of the best sixes now in France. 
Okay, okay. Fuck that! I fuck you too. Sam, so sure, no, the fact you are say, are you like? Wait, the fact that so you're just, like that. I'm gonna have to go back and like make sure you see what you just said. You said word for word, I will rather take Martinez yes. over Ruben. Van der Veen, yes, Ruben Diaz, yes, Gabriel. Gabriel. Yes. Wait, what about Saliba? Yes, <laughs> Saliba. Because wait, I don't think I don't think. Yes! Yes! I don't think Sam, you're my, that's you, why I said that no, you that's Sam, why Demi that's why Demi I say you saying. that's why Demi that's why I'm saying you want us biased. No, me. I don't want yes, you to because Sam, be consistency very careful what you're saying. Saliba yeah when he's physically when he physically yeah, let's say he's having off days. Oh my god. Because oh Saliba we can oh are you gonna say he doesn't have off days? I did not see anything. You're okay, so when he's having his off days, they're damn fucking horrible. I'm saying that specifically when you're talking about what's it world class players, their off days can't be anything below a seven. No, I'm so sorry. Is no like we have to retract something for a minute. So can you take Martinez over Romero? I'm taking Martinez over Romero. Yes. So you're taking you're basically saying you're taking Martinez over everybody. I, right now I'm taking Martinez over everybody. You is Martinez mean, world man. class? Yes, absolutely. Martinez in Martinez I, is world Martinez class. Is world class. Wa- Martinez is one of the best or the best center back in the world. Yes. Wait, 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 okay. wait, oh wait, yes. life, Sam. Life. Yes, Same. and that's what I'm. What, and, and my no, life, I'm standing on he, it. He's messing. I'm not no, messing. messing. That's no, true. you know the thing is, he's he's in too deep now. He he's can't go back. Deep. He can't go back. You, you know how mad it is, yeah, to say to say you'd rather Martinez. Don't over, worry. Listen, yeah, over. Wait, time over, is going to tell. Wait, over Ruben Diaz. Yes. No, no. we're not talking about Ruben Diaz. Okay, Van der Veen, Saliba. These are the people who have been. What about deep. Van Dyke? Yeah, talk about Van Dyke now. Van Dyke right now. No, would you take Van Dyke right now? Wait, stop. Would you would take, you take Martinez Dijk? over Van Dyke? I would take Martinez over Van Dyke. I swear to God. Oh my God. That no guy, guy, you're deluded. No. No, you're very deluded. Oh my God. That's why I said it's okay. It's okay. I no, don't. I don't no, mind. No, I don't mind. No, it's okay. I don't mind how you man looking at me because I know I'm no. confident. Time is going to tell. No, it's Demi, about time. It's you not did going it, to tell. Demi. You're saying okay. You, you if this guy is so good, why can you not win the league? If this guy is so good at defending, okay, why can't you not win the league? Is that so? Maybe you have. Jebe, Sa- that's that's how Saliba and oh Saliba and Gabriel. Why didn't they win? What they came closer than fucking uh, Martinez. No, no, but, no, no, but why did they win? No, fuck I that. Because they lose, they lose. No, fuck that. They lose, they lose. Why did they win? No, okay, what about Ruben Diaz? Closer, he won the league. They came Champions closer. League. So? They came closer wow. than. And Ruben Diaz, Ruben Diaz. They went, won. Yes. Wait, wait stop. But Ruben Diaz at Ruben, one point. Ruben Diaz is the sole Ruben reason. Ruben Diaz. Yes. Because Ruben Diaz at one point. No, wait. Sorry, I'm not being disrespectful. Ruben Diaz at one point did not even lose a game when he was playing. Solely it's because of him, not because be- of the yes, team. Solely because of him. So football is not an individual sport. No, oh is that it? Is that it? No, no, no. no. Oh. Is that it? Sam, I, we're being you are dis- not listening. No, Sam, you are not listening. Oh being this when this guy is there, okay. when this guy is there, there's a higher probability or there is <laughs> if 100% exp- probability when he's there that City were going to win. 100% probability does not even exist. But it was because every time he was there, they did not they lose. lose. It's there was not a because point. solely because... Wait. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, actually, let me let me throw the question to you here. Right now, yeah, as we watch football, is it player based or system based? Player, I thought, excuse me, depending on the team. The City are a great example again. When Roddy is there, eighty percent. Roddy hasn't lost the game. Roddy has it is eighty percent chance City are going to win when Roddy is playing. So right and now, when the way Roddy you see football, yeah, the way we are watching football, yeah, it's not system based, but it's player based. But, but yes. there is There's a okay. twenty-eight yeah, percent okay. chance. I have, I have nothing else to say. But you, why would you have anything else to say? I have you else just to say. sat here. No, and because no, because you, that no, means that means the same way you are very. That means the criticisms of modern football that we have here. I don't like saying this thing. Oh if there was God. a word that was madder than mad, it's what oh Sam is right now. Sam, I want you to just listen. And look, I'm going to give you one more chance to <laughs> redeem yourself. You just said to us, you would rather take Martinez over Van der Veen, Romero, yes. Van Dyke, yes. Saliba, yes. Gabriel, yes. and Akanji. Yes. Absolutely, I can't. That one is not These are seven of the best center backs yes. in the league this year. Yes. Madison, you take them yes. over. Yes. And because of one small I point, tell you, I'm telling you, if Make anything. Sure, just wait, wait. Make sure you put it on Keep that same energy. I want Keep you to that, post yeah. it on the TikTok. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to post it. I'm standing I'm posting it. I'm going to make sure it's a clip for the yeah. side of the podcast. Yes. You I'm quadrupling down. Said, on my um, life, I'm quadrupling down. They need... Come honestly, for... Come, what? Come for me. I'm standing it. Oh, my God. I'm going to be in the comments. Stand on business. I'm, I'm going to be in the comments. Stand on business. While I lie, I'm going to be in the comments. Stand on business. I'm going to be in the Come for... I've, Come, never, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard I've heard bad things in my life. Oh, guys, please, I want you all to look at my eyes. I've heard mad things in my life. 
I've heard Arsenal fans say they're going to win the league. At least they nearly did. Mm. I've heard all these crazy things. But today is the maddest thing I've ever heard in football. I like, got, like, my head right now is spinning. Someone just said, I hate Arsenal, but Saliba is an unbelievable defender. Van der Veen, unbelievable recovery pace and an unbelievable player from breaking the line. Romero, I don't even need to talk. He may be rash, but he is one of the best defenders in the league. Gabriel, I hate Arsenal so much, but he's a good defender. Van Dijk. Like, I just need to that, say the name. Wait, like, please, like please. Van Dijk. I just need to say the name for you like people. Van Dijk. Was Van Dijk. Like, we want to make it for Van Dijk and his aura for weeks and weeks. Van and Dijk. I'm just going to say Van Dijk. Okay. You Liverpool fans. Okay. I want you to call Van Dijk. Okay. And then, he had the audacity. He the had the temerity. He had the, the utmost. He had the utmost audacity Fuck and temerity to come on this camera and say you would rather take Martinez over Ruben Diaz. Hey, Olo Rua, Babao, Heshe, Heshe. Listen here, then. God, I'm quadruple down. I don't care. The so, fact, the very, like I said, I'm not even going to follow go any more on it because the fact that when you when I asked you about in the current day of football, in modern football, whether it's player based it, or system based, the fact that you said, I said, said it depends. You said, you said player based, and I said, and said you said player based as well. Opinion, I said, it, I said, no, it, no, but the fact that that's the case here, there's nothing else for me Sam, to say. I said it depends on the team. The, okay. For example, Brentford when Ivan Tony came back, they started burning straight away. Mm. But depend, it depends on each team. System based. Spurs are system based because Spurs have a specific system which has to work. And that's what they do. With a certain players. I don't know about your team because your team don't even know what they're doing in the first place. City, there are certain players that have to be there for that system to work. So, in a theory, there has to be two sides on this coin. Yes, football is a system based game. I can agree. But there has to be certain players there to make that system work. Do you agree or you disagree? That point, I agree. But the reason why I reason the reason why I proposed the question of player base because, okay, the reason why I, I said and I say modern football, I'm saying it specifically because football previously, let's say, 2012. Okay. Prior to that time here, yeah, prior to that time, we can say it's absolutely almost pretty much player based. There are there are roles and there are specific um, instructions given to players here yeah, that at that time. Is literally of no. This is. I'm not telling you any instruction. I'm not telling you any specific things to do. And as a union in this team here, do what you know you can do. Play, be completely you. That's player based. Prior, prior, prior to 2012, that's literally most of the, this is the way teams played. We see that in Italy. We, there's, the, there's the ten has died for Christ's sake. The ten rule has officially has died. Excuse me. Like that's how player based we were. Tom, and we appreciate it. you're not listening to me. I agree with you. But I'm saying it has to for certain, for that to work. There has to be certain players there, like for example. And I'm, and I'm saying for the, the, fact, the very fact that we need to say that for a whole quote unquote system to work for you to be player based, that doesn't make sense. It's literally yeah, it that this is system versus system. Yeah, because it's, it's style versus system, system. The systems will not work unless there are certain players there. For example, it's still you're good, you're still good, if you're having specific systems here, yeah. you're still going to see the way that they, you're still going to see it play obviously you're not going to see it is of its complete best but the same way and style that you want it to be played you're still going to see so even when they didn't have the brain there was they were, they were the only thing they were still winning their style was still being replicated yeah, the was, brain when the brain came back this, like, the brain wasn't and what the brain did the specific parts that we can see that is pure talent that's the extra edge that the brain brought. But uh, the system itself is still there that they still the restricted system, under. But the system may not always work the way it's meant to unless certain players are there. And I'm telling you right now, it's with each team. And, Every and team I, has their own player. I disagree like, with okay, that. Okay, Liverpool system. When Salah is not there, they're still a bit shaky. When, um, who is it? Oh my God, why is this player... When Mane left, the system still is the system is not the same. Completely changed. Because this week has completely same, changed. Though. But what I'm just trying to say is, I agree with your point about system based. But again, I'm going to speak for my own team. When Madison, Son, when all the boys were injured or red-carded, the system was not the same. Yes, they were trying to do what it's embedded into their brains, mm. but it's not the same. So what I'm trying to say is, I agree with you. The same, might try the system, but the system only perfectly worked when there's certain players there. I might... That's why your love for Martinez is there because you know. My tweet to that year is that okay, you said perfectly. I said I, I disagree with the perfectly statement. I'm saying that if the system still works, but what those players, those that's when you start adding in your world class players. That's when you start adding in very great players here. 
they add extra to that system already because you can't coach that. Okay. So the system is doing what the system is supposed to do. They're just adding your extra. Those are your add-ons. Those are your add-ons that so give you the that, winning. That, so this is the reason why I say Martinez is be- basically the best center back in the world. I'm saying that the, so way that, you, the way that I have looked at Martinez right now, the way that you are bringing in Ruben Diaz, I'm saying that it's not strictly because of Ruben Diaz. I'm saying that it's strictly because it, the system in and of itself, that defensive system here that City have, it works. And Ruben Diaz is that add-on. That's why it literally is one. So for you to go and say that, oh, well, then that means Martinez should have, we should, we shouldn't have lost them because Martinez. That doesn't make sense because you're, that means you're making it be specifically player based. No, it's a system based sort of thing. You see, me, I don't have a problem with what you're saying. I'm saying that's the fact that you said Martinez is better Whoa. than Diaz. Oh, sorry, I moved is the camera. Me. Okay, on my side, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the fact that Martinez is better than Diaz and Van Dyke, the two best centers yeah, like, in the world. Sam, I can, you, I, I, you, you can argue with the other rest. But it's the Van Dyke and Ruben Diaz when I think that one is and too stupid. And that's, and and that's when I think you man. I, that's when I say yeah, they're being disingenuous because it's like for some reason yeah, they use the same pen in Men in Black to go and do ching ching to your memories. There was literally a time that there, there was a not even a time a full fucking period in which Van Dyke we literally were making fun of him because of how shit he became. Yeah, but and this was obviously upon the thing when he was coming back from injury, which is fair. This is, which is actually fair. I'm, I'm not going to be on a thing of boom, boom, boom. But, okay. Their players have been come back from in that, that have been injured. They've come back and they've cool. been, we're still workers. Okay, leave that there. But what about Ruben Diaz? Is there a sense of delusion there? Yes. I will admit that. Hey, we thank God. But, if this is not delusion, this is stupidity. <laughs> no, <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. But my thing is that, my thing is that, in terms of at least, if, okay, then if I'm to be after I've, I've cooled down a little bit, but if I'm to, <laughs> <laughs> you said you don't. I don't think you until you watch this back yourself. I don't care. You I'm are going to realize you actually said the maddest thing. I'm history. still standing. I'm still standing on it in the sense of that on business because yeah, just, that, that's failed business. Yeah, there. I'm still standing on it in the sense of I'm still going to be like in terms of right now. Let's in the prem. I'm going to put in my top three. Martinez is going to be there alongside those two. That's me. That's my. That's the way I'm going to say. Martinez is top two. It's crazy when you have a five-time Champions League winner centre back in Varane. But anyways, guys, I think like this is not going. I anywhere. think speaking of Van Dijk, when Klopp leaves, yes. since we're moving on to that, is Van Dijk going to stay? He's I not don't staying think, for I sure. Don't think he's Salah is going and, this season. He hasn't signed if, the contract. Trent as well. Leaves, is he going to go the the money way to Saudi? Or is he going to join a Champions League winning team? Like who's he going? What team is he going to get into? I say exactly. he goes to he's Bayern. He's thirty-one years of age, man. I think he's going. I, I, I think he's going to Bayern. 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 I think Bayern. 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 Yeah. Bayern. Bayern. Bayern goes to Bayern. Yeah. He will take him. He will take him from McCann's place. No problem. Easy. Ugo Maguire. Come on. Like, even do I don't Maguire think two like will that. even last that long. Ooh, we'll get on to Bayern in a sec. But let's talk about Klopp leaving. Klopp leaving. I'm There's so a, happy. I have. I have. I have two questions or problems. Yeah. Whatever you want to call them. Has Klopp done enough to be considered a Premier League great manager? Yes. Among the likes of Pep, yes. Mourinho, and Fergie. Yes, yes, yes. yes. He's I definitely think, top I five. D- okay. He's top five. But, but, but uh, among those three, I don't wait. think any. I don't think there's any legacy that can really touch those three. But in terms of top five, outside of those three, As Klopp is when, there. When you think of, when you say Klopp, Klopp is last. He's not. He's not. He's not touching any of them. This guy has not He's a good manager. Nice great, guy. Celebrate. Great, great. Oh, so you think now nah, that's my okay. Yeah, oh, okay. We can see. You think great, he's a great. You think he's one of the greats. Great. The reason so, why, I, no, like, can you? For, for, sorry for interrupting you. Can you just label your five? My five. Yeah. In, 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 in order. order. In the order. Yeah. In the prem or in prem. prem. In the prem. Prem. Fergie. Mm-hmm. This one. Ah, Fergie Pep. And this one, yeah. Ah, it's because this one. If you don't say the person's name, I'm going to throw this freak up in at you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Freddy, Fred, and t- and I'm not talking about, not just. Um, we said Prem Great. Don't don't be around the bush. No, no, I know. I'm talking I'm talk about culture and everything. I'm going to go I'm going Moreno, to the then I'm going to go cost. Wenger, then I'm going, then I'm going to go um, Klopp. Klopp. Okay. That's, that's mine. <laughs> Pep, then Fergie, Mourinho, Wenger, and then Klopp. But. But what? <laughs> you can you can argue um you can argue with it because Ancelotti was also in the Prem at one point and he did with the Prem. One. One. But Klopp has one as well. He's fifth. There's but Klopp has one too. There's a reason why he's fifth. But we're, we're not talking Klopp about Klopp has just, one too though. We're not talking about just wins though. We're talking about culture. Like they they come in and like you could there's like 
I hate this fucking word, but for lack of a better word, aura. Like they come mm. in and people are actually ch- petrified. When people think of Pep, we are, we are, we're like, fuck, this guy is always going to do some big brain move. But when people think is, of Fergie, they talk to think of the dominance. When people think of Mourinho, they say, this fucking. Guys, that's not winning 4 now. Hmm? That's not our winning 4 now. Wow. Fucking hell, man. Wow. In yeah. London Stadium as well. West Ham. What's going on? <laughs> Once you get, we soon get sad. No, then again, also, also, West Ham also got found out that XG, have you not seen it's like 0. 0.3 something? <laughs> oh, before we let's, let's not get off topic. Sorry, that's yeah. my bad. Don't mind me. Um, what's it? Um, yeah. Wenger. The, the invisibles. That one, we cannot take. No matter, we can't, we can't take. If, if nobody has done it. Mourinho going like, what? Was How many years without losing without, a home match? He, he didn't, con- the, 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 the Chelsea didn't concede, what? How many goals? Chelsea only con- Chelsea concede. Nine like, goals or something. Like, what the fuck? Do you know, do you know how obscene you know how that, that is? That's like, that's like, like, he basically conceded a goal every like three or four matches. Yeah, yeah. like that's, that, that's, that's doesn't, disgusting. That doesn't, and especially in that time where large goal margins are the norm. That mm. doesn't nowadays okay, but back then. It's but pe- saying, people should not get me wrong. Sorry for tripping you. And people should not get me wrong. I do like Klopp. I think the, the way he changed Liverpool with the false nine, with the two wingers yeah, coming yeah, in, it's crazy. The way he developed Trent, the way he took a left back from Hull to one of the best left backs in the world. Uh, let's Robertson. not forget the way he took Salah, who everybody thought was a flop, mm. to mm. be on. Well, he was killing it in Italy. Yeah, but yeah. the other thing, remember when he went to Chelsea? Chelsea, yeah. Mm. And at yeah. that time in Chelsea, and, yeah. you know, yeah, with that one shot, I mean, like, didn't finish your career. So that was the same with De Bruyne, though, when he was at Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. But And then he went to Wolfsburg. Okay, let's not talk about talk my club. Let's not be talking <laughs> about my club. Let's see you go, like, what's, what's going on? Mm-hmm. But, like, I think it, it was a sad day, you know? What happened? <laughs> Dude, I want to play as Chelsea. I'm like, cool, bro. Man. It's funny. But anyways, let's let's talk about it. Okay. There's gonna be an episode. We need to just talk about the academy, Chelsea academy at the point. Yeah. Fuck me. I the academy could have been a first time eleven for some teams. I think they bet some champion. Did they beat some championship teams yeah, or something? I'm sure they did. That, that, that team. Did you? That U team was crazy. Honestly, if you look at any of the actually, interviews of any, of you know, two, I never knew I didn't catch it was in that U team as well. Yeah. When they were saying some of the boys, I was just like, what the fuck? Man, there was some serious, but um, ridiculous ballers. So. Why do you believe Klopp is Klopp? Because some people argue that he shouldn't be considered a great because what Klopp? So because sometimes people will say should Ranieri be considered a great Who? manager then? Ranieri, oh, the Leicester manager. Yeah, 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 I get it. People argue that because he's won one Premier League, same amount as Klopp. I'm fair enough; he has won a Champions League, but um, Ranieri won. Ranieri won an FA Cup too. Or was that Brendan Rodgers? Well, no, we can't compare. Yeah, that's Brendan Rodgers, yeah. Because it was against Chelsea, I remember. Aye. So why so why do you believe he's a great? I don't believe. No, you go. I like I'm not saying I don't I'm like when I think of great, right? I'm only having a top three. When I think of like when you talk about great, I and Klopp's Klopp, there. Klopp is not there. Klopp is not a Pep Mourinho or Fergie. Mm. But like under that, he's above everyone else. Above above Ringer. But you need to. Ah, I don't know, man. But you need to understand though, like, club obviously club built a good thing, right? And club it took me took me a while to build that thing as well. Mm. But even when it was built, lockdown period was bad for them. Even yeah. though they did get top four, because the they, tw- I'm pretty sure they did. Man. No lockdown period is when they won the prem. No, there was a there was a period that no, you lockdown, because we, lockdown is when 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 um Van Dijk got injured. Yeah, that that lockdown period was when wasn't that when they won the prem. I that was remember. that was the year the year after I'm talking about they won the prem. Oh. That's when they were going tough. They were using the Henderson as centre back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember, remember that time. That guy didn't play bad centre back though. <laughs> yeah, I won't lie. Yeah, <laughs> but like I'm talking about like them periods like that though, that they went through tough times. Mm. Even last year as well. Tough times. Tough times as well. They got Europa League. They probably went it out this year. Yeah, but like yeah. I'm saying that he's been he's been there, what, nine years is it? Seven? Is it seven? Yeah. No, seven? nine, 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 nine. Years? Because I remember they said that Klopp has the seven year bad luck. Mm. Remember oh, that if he said Klopp yeah, for seven yeah. years, yeah, something yeah. happened. So like nine years, yeah. when you take away, like when you take oh, when years, you bro. when you give him like when you see what he's won, it's not like it's not great, but it's the way he changed the football. Like there. how long has Pep been a C? About the same. No? Huh? Longer. Pep came in, it was in before Fergie retired, no? Yeah, he was. Because Pep came in when Rooney the, was... Was he not the season before? So that would be about 2013. 12, 2012, around so that So about term. 10 years. So it's not... 12. Been. 2012 is when he came okay. in, is just, your just, saying? Just, when, just, when Pep came in. 
Okay. I'm on Sunday 24 now. He's coming on to his. Ah, uh, can he be 12? Pepe hasn't been there that long. Ah. ah. Um, what type of. Pe- Let me not use the word on my talk. <laughs> but. <laughs> what type of. What type of power is this? Ah. Hmm? What type of power does this guy. If he's in here for 12 years, fuck off. Do, 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 but do, 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 do. guys, you also have to consider Wenga because I really think that you see the fact that the invincible. Okay, I don't think Wenga won a Champions League. So the fact that um, guys, Pep only came to City in 2016. What? <laughs> 16? Because we all, you know, you know what fucked us up here. Remember this guy was a Bayern. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. You're telling me, you know what? He's less than there, 10 years. He's been there since 2016, but he felt longer. That's what happened. That's the problem. <laughs> you know, trauma. Trauma has only been way. there since 2016. That's power of trauma. How many years that's is that? It's nearly, it's, it's nearly it's eight years. Eight years. When yeah. The, when, then means when the club joined, that's another question. Ah, Baba. Ah, ah. Ah, Baba, God. Ah. Whoa. When mm. did. How? This is what happens when you're not a dictatorship. <laughs> You won't even realize how long he's there. <laughs> I can see a little post shouting, fans shouting at me in the screen. He joined. Nah, 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 nah. Class 2015 or 2014. Wait, when did he retire from Dortmund? 14, no? He came to Liverpool in 2015? Yeah. So wait a minute. He's been there longer than Pep. Five season? Did he have the same backing? That's crazy. That is crazy. I never realized that. Damn. That's not good. That's not good as well. That's not very good. (laughs) You look, we're looking at it now. This is basically saying to me that Pep came in. I remember, I remember Pep, I always remember Pep's first season. Shocking. Terrible. Trying to play that football. Mm. It didn't work. And then the season after, fuck. (laughs) There was a vertical style of football that these men were playing here. And that's when they had Sonny and they looked absolutely insane. Yeah. 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 Sonny Sterling and Aguero. Fuck, man. I swear it was like David Silva. Yeah. From Silva, Fernandinho. Fernandinho Fuck De Bruyne. Yeah. Was, it, was De Bruyne even there at that time? Otto Mendy and um, company or something. Were working. And then who was at, our fullbacks? Um, um, the Clichy. Was it not like Delph and Walker? No? Was it not Clichy? Was it Clichy? Was it not, was Clichy not before that one? I swear it was Delph, no? No, Fabian Delph was the centre midfield. No, they, because he played. Santos Delph never really played for a city. You have to remember. Yeah, he was in, injured. Wasn't he injured most of the time? Was... Oh, 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 oh! This one that went to prison for being mad. Oh, Mendy, yeah, Mendy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Really? What's that when he? What? Are we talking about Centurions team here? Yeah? We're talking about the vertical Tiki Taka team with that's, Sane. That, that's Sane. That's Centurions, no? But wasn't Doug Clichy the left back then? I'm trying to remember. I, Wait, we have to check. What's oh, it? guys, why do we forget who it was? Zinchenko. Was it Zinchenko? It wasn't Zinchenko. Fuck off. It wasn't Zinchenko. Zinchenko Is was never fun? a starter. Zinchenko was never a starter. Let me check up this. It was, it was, team, was, it was a rotation player. Wait a minute. Why is the left back of City not coming to my head? I feel like when they say the name now, it's going to be a bit mad. We never for, we why never is he looking? Hmm? So... With me, Klopp is a great manager. Like, don't get it twisted. Premier League, Champions League, he's won the FA Cup, he's won the Carabao Cup, he's won it all. But when we talk about comparing him to Pep, Mourinho, and Fergie, you, for you, sure. you, can't, you can't do that, bro. Even to, nah, deep, even to Wenger. Even bro. to Wenger as well, I wouldn't like it. Because you have to just, even look outside, excuse me, look outside um, the championship start, the, mm. the, the, the invincible season here. Yeah. Wenger, that Arsenal team here, yeah, I think that was the most, I think, there was, there was the, the most black people. It was uh, in one team. It was when <laughs> they came out. When they came from Japan. At the time in England, yeah, everybody was just eating anyhow. When they came in and, and changed that up, he brought in sports science into it. He brought in um, a cleaner and nutritional model. No. It, it was much more healthy. It was Mendy. It was Mendy. Yeah. It was Walker, Bravo, oh, yeah, Company, uh-huh. Otto Mendy. Uh-huh. Mendy. Uh-huh. No, it was Bravo, but then remember Bravo was messing up yeah, yeah, and they yeah. went to go and get Edison. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, quick. No, Josh, jo- Joe Hart was in there as well. No, 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 no. Joe Hart was Yaya Ture times, man. Damn, yeah, Pe- yeah. Pe- when, when City won, you, you, Pep wasn't the manager. It was uh, Pep dropped, sorry, Je- sorry, when Pep came in, he dropped Hart, sorry. Yes, he, he dropped, dropped Hart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he had to because the football yeah. he had to play wasn't yeah, it? And then he got Bravo from Barcelona yeah. and Bravo couldn't basically keep up with it. Yeah. So he had to bring in the best 
football playing goalkeeper I've ever seen in my <laughs> life for a very game. long time. <laughs> the shooter. But um, so you do you agree? Like, do you agree or disagree when I say like he just falls short? Oh, he absolutely does. Like, he's one sort of winger. He's a great manager, but he's not one of the greats. Yeah, that's the way I put yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I put. That's why I say he's fifth. He's fifth. So let's move on. I'm delighted. Club is gone. <laughs> I'm so delighted. Super Eagle. Allies who compass rots. Nigerians call Obi. You don't know. To serve our And to win Afcon. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how you were ending it. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen <laughs> I think Afcon has been one of the best watches. It's literally so exciting. Like, mm. you know, actually, at the start, because remember you said it to me that you weren't excited about it. I wasn't. No, let me explain why I was excited about it. It's because of previous Afcons. Mm, yeah. Fair. It's just, it's because it's just like, and being honestly speaking, I'm going to be very biased when I say this. I only want to watch if I know Nigeria are going to go. Fight. Yeah, that's fair. And that's like, fair. I knew Nigeria's team was there, but then I was very pissed off that Gift or Band didn't get called up. That's one thing that irritated me. But if you what think you about, mean? if you think about it, though, wait, wait. If you think about it, though, if Gift or Band was there, I don't think he would have changed this five back team. Yeah, he's playing now. Right so he now. would have been playing that four two four high, rubbish football, and then we won't have, we won't be here right now. So that's why. Give your band, his time will come. It's no kind of like, like bro. Okay, when but we you have, you're forgetting Boniface. I'm up. Did you know he's injured? He's injured. He, he was injured Wait, now, so but you're forgetting Boniface. There's another striker that. that Awoni. Awoni got. Oh, Awoni got injured. injured. He was injured. He's not injured. Uh, Oshima, Mofi as well. Mofi is not bad. Though. He's not bad he's at all. Guys. Hmm? Nice. But I'm, I'm talking about like, I just don't understand why Gift or Band did not get called up when he Strikers. had the most hat tricks in 2023. Oh, Baba like, Nigeria, we have too I many do, strikers. I do get it, but I I can, it's too many strikers. Oh, Ozy, I understand Ozy Man and everybody else, but oh, bad Bobby will even get it. I understand all these boys have to get caught, but I just don't understand how um um if we're I don't know how when these managers will go and pick players if it's on performance, if it's on stats, how they or do favoritism. It. Yeah, or favoritism. favoritism. Or favoritism. Or favoritism. But I just never understood why Urban didn't get caught up. Bro, below. Kelechi is also there as well, senior man. Yeah, but like, I don't, I, but I don't, need some veterans there. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Like, Kelechi, there's actually, only so many young cats. I think, I think he's fell down so much. He's, so he's like, older. Yeah, uh, senior he's man. Yeah, I don't know. He's, what, like, he's senior in there. That's to give you perspective. His mates are getting older as well, but they're still balling. <laughs> Who? How old is Kelechi now? Is he not twenty? Is he not thirty or twenty? Come on, Harry Kane is thirty something, and he's still absolutely banging in goals. Yeah. See, but that's that's what we're coming to. Let's be frank here. Yeah. Just compare Harry Kane to Kelechi. What type of comparison, please? But nah, it's literally. But um. Um, um, guys, we're, we're recording, so it's about three okay. o'clock now, and the final is gonna be at eight. eight. Ah, what are your so predictions? Pray, pray, prayer starts at five. Pray, ah, you don't think you're Nigeria that fast, not faster than praying already? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think church, 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 church started at the fire that church started at eight a.m. today Man, I need in them. Nigeria. I, ah, I, there's I, that. <laughs> it's not just, I think, because in Nigeria, like, Lagos is funny because if you go there, it's not just like what's it, five, six a.m. It's not just in church you'll be hearing, it's the mosque as well you'll be hearing. Mm. Everybody they pray, everybody's praying, everybody mm. pray. Mm. But then, um, what do you think? Do you think Nigeria are going to win today? I hope so. I hope so. I, I think, think there's a good chance, but my own problem is Haller. That is my major Whoa. issue. Because I, as good, I look, I, like, I know what you I, look, Haller. <laughs> Haler, Haler has been doing bits. What you said, Nikai, you cannot repeat. No, don't by repeat the way. that, please. Don't, worry, <laughs> don't say that. No, that's just, that's just, that's just, let's just move away from that. Um, because I'm talking, let me not lie to you yet. There's probably another 100 million Nigerians that are probably thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, not I, it's because I've seen it. I've literally seen them say it. No, no, no. It's, it's true. Like, but um, I do think we will win. Mm. But the only thing I have a problem, I think we're going to have a problem is if we're not rootless. Is that in the midfield is actually very solid? What's the name of this guy? Fofana. 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 He's yeah. an engine. I don't know, case it down. But Fofana, that nigga is an engine. Mm. Serious engine. Doesn't. I thought Zaha plays for Cordoba. Is he not injured? He does. I was surprised. I told you. I was surprised. I told you. I think there. if Zaha was there, I would be saying it's a whole different story right no, now. No, but I chose Olaina. Bad the penalty. I don't Blood know. of oh, Jesus! I don't know. Oh my God! I don't know. <laughs> you're talking about you're talking about with Fasa versus I, like I, he's good, but Zaha. Wait, hold on, our, def- our whole defense here. Yeah, I think I can write an article on defending from our whole. Oh, defense. I'm not. I'm, I'm not here denying, but I'm saying like the only player that Zaha is scared of, and he even said it himself, is Wan Bissaka. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else, the guy does not give two shits <laughs> Me, about. Like, and, and that's okay because Olaina will not give to you. Most clear. But just imagine though, 
Imagine all these English people that are Nigerian. Imagine they pick Niger. Bro. Tomorrow. I think a lot of that. You're going Saka. To you know, I heard... It was Is it too late for tomorrow? I don't know how many England claps he made. Because I think it was too late for Lukman, but he argued it in... Um, uh, Mo- Lukuman. Look, don't say Lukman. Lukuman, <laughs> please. He argued it. Ademola. He, act, he argued it in... Uh, Ademola Lukuman. That's but, Ademola. How can you use that name as an as English player? Come on, shut up! No, the one, the, apparently, you know, they said S- Deli Ali. Osaka. They said Deli Ali, Curtis Jones, Saka. Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley. Yeah. Yeah. I, would, I would love to see Ross Barkley in that midfield on my life. Ross Barkley has um, been cooking this year, bro, though. He, he went on a sabbatical and he found himself. Who else is there? There's a lot of players that could play for yeah, Nigeria. And I mean, to be honest, and I'll pay Saka left wing back. Honestly. That also, mind you, one point I also want to add as well. Going forward in the next couple of years, again, when it would be time for our goalkeeper to retire, the specific headship. Of um, Enyama and um, our, that great guy Mbali. Mm. If Nigeria ever di- moves away from that headship, I promise you they will deal with. They will have to come from. It. Will, it's me. They will deal with. No problems. They must not leave that headship. Mama so far. Ah, but um, Afcon itself this year was pretty. Like I did watch. I started watching everything from like the. What was what it? Sixteen round, maybe like round sixteen. And the I was goals like, I was like, in this the goals catalog. Like, the goals catalog was good, but you know it wasn't even the goals that impressed me. And I the someone referee. said this it was it Mourinho. Mourinho said that um, PGML only to learn That's a thing a fake or two quote. from um, Calf. It's a fake quote. <laughs> what? It was a fake quote. He's not lying because the referee. But, is, but the, per- the person that said it about the it's true. You know no. Mourinho. You know Mourinho. But people need to remember Mourinho's always backed African players. Yeah. yeah. From like. From like time, mm. like he knows the quality that can come out of it. Look at look at let's look at his catalog of black players in Chelsea. Yeah, so Let, let's not like, forget Eto, Victor Moses, S- Victor Moses, Jogba, Makaleli. Let's not forget the the general I see at Jogba, Makaleli, Makaleli, Mikel, oh, Mikel, yeah, like oh my god, look who he took with him to Roma, Tammy, Tammy, yeah. Mourinho, I mean, Mourinho yeah. knows what he's doing. <laughs> yes, I want to Mori, man. That won't pay I think me. everybody wants him, bro. That won't pay me. But um, no, the catalog, the referee, what I, I, you know what it is, yeah. Call. And that's one reason why I didn't want to watch it because I thought the referee was gonna be. No, the referee's mm. been tall. The referee, those, ref- the, those referees, oh, I them. didn't know that you could you could get a red card from a free kick. You know the WWE rules. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Because remember, it was a last man challenge. Yeah, but that, that that's always been. A t- I don't know why people don't think this because it doesn't really it's happen. Because I like never that. seen it in the it prem. That's it, why you never see it happen because it does happen. But it's because there's so much controversy around it. Mm. But again, it, last man is just like it, is, it just is what mm. it is like. Yeah. yeah. But the refereeing has been great. Yeah. Honestly, it's actually like I have to commend the people of Cap because corruption. I feel like corruption didn't catch these people this time. <laughs> I feel like FIFA were watching your bank accounts, like <laughs> we're monitoring everything. If everything. You see beep, <laughs> that you play, gonna... that play, the was Nigerian one when Oshime went to go, and they repressed the whole play to the penalty. I was like, my my heart. I wanted to cry, but I'm like, it was the right decision. Yeah. yeah. I was like, can you just let, let this one go? But, but even, right even though, like, if you were an African and you were like, you would say, who would, who would you think like? If, I mean, wait, why am I story? Like, if you were an African. People would have thought that probably like Morocco because they did so good in the World Cup. But, but Morocco were playing good. Oh, now nah, he. Oh, now nah, he. Was it not like South Africa? Was it? Was it not Cape Verde? Hey, I, maybe it was. But South Africa were good as well, man. man I was worried, bro. I didn't they know who single nigga on that team. Like, you no, know, the, 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 the the quality of football in Afcon in that last sixteen was crazy. Nah, top, hype hard. Like I'm telling you, summer. So much Saudi is coming. Not even Saudi. Saudi. Prem Saudi. Prem juicy because they want to change the they want to change that city rule in the Premier League that with um the three years you can't lose more than 105 million. Oh yeah. So team and apparently that's gonna reset in this year. Okay. So everybody's gonna be spending big. No wonder because I was like, why haven't people really been? Yeah, yeah do you know this, no one bought any players in January. Only know, Spurs did. Even Chelsea, I was so, I was proud of them because you people are mad. You, yeah, you people have you. enough players. You I need to get rid of players. You that you that your boy Enzo. You, you, you're forgetting just because it's golf scoff free kick and they pointed at the jersey. You did the same thing at Benfica before he was gone. You better keep your eye on him. <laughs> you better keep your eye on him. Oh. I'm okay with and Enzo will stay job. Let's let's be frank. Please. Yeah, you said. Yeah. But um, no, but um, I really need to give them credit because yeah. man I, I i genuinely said if you people want to come and ref in the premier league i have no problem at all. and they don't take bullshit from anybody man three of was it mali three of the players tried to go and press the ref the ref was like are you crazy or what <laughs> man it was on business he was, he was like what are I you think, pushing them back nah, this is probably gonna sound stupid but i think the afcon would be a better watch than the euros yeah what well, yours is this year so we can have a perfect comparison because that because not the euros the euros is this year yeah, in yes. Germany. Yeah. Are you sure the Euros is this year? Yeah, Euros yeah, yeah. is this year in Germany, yeah. 
The last one was twenty. That's why. That's why you have seen yeah, a few people cook extra, extra hard this year. Yeah, they don't want to make euros. They want to make it. I'm, but I, I t- I'm going to also next year as well. Speaking of euros, should Menu get called up to England? He must be called up to Ghana. I don't want to hear anything else about it. I want to see more of those players in African okay, teams. Good. That's my. That's my. I was opinion. just waiting for him to say it again because I was going to throw this pen at him. <laughs> oh, you, 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 my United fans in this Menu hype is just disgusting, man. That's my only answer. Let, 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 <laughs> let the kid play football. Stop putting so just, much just pressure on the show. Don't put pressure like. and don't, don't don't talk about him anymore. Just yeah, let just him play. let him. I'm not like I'm, I'm not even saying a bad way. You're gonna you're gonna put the kid. You're gonna put too much pressure on the kid's shoulders. Like this, like there's only one generation. Of, there's only two generational talents. That's Ronaldo and Messi. Mm. Let's just leave it like that. Generational. Ta- so Fabregas, when he came in, wasn't it wasn't no the one is on the level of Messi and Ronaldo. We're not gonna see okay, that. Man, I don't even, you people, you people, you don't even appreciate the word generational enough. That one, that generational, you can only say that one for is humans because generational implies that per generation you're gonna get a player of that same nature. Which player about in in a, within our generation can we compare to Messi and Ronaldo? We can't. We have to use other outwardly, otherworldly. It's not of this world. Even, even then, Fabregas is not there. In generational, <laughs> no. He wouldn't put Fabregas there, though. I'm not gonna put Fabregas there. Come on, come on, Sam. There's two players that play with Barcelona that are always gonna be on top of him. Iniesta and Xavi, hundred percent. Generational, but again, this is where I have a problem with some of the words we use. Generational in players that we are see, we're gonna see within the next generation of um, the next crop of players here, like within each group, then a, a similar talent. I don't think I've seen a similar talent to Xavi and Iniesta in 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 the past couple of generations. Have you seen a Fabregas? I'm, me, I'm, I'm biting my tongue to say this name or not. Say it, and I want to see it. Say it. Give or take. But no, no, no. I think Fabregas. No, Fabregas came out. So who, who are you? Who, I, who, I was going to say Ozil, but I remember his age. Ozil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what, whatever. Okay. What? Man's Ozil. Yeah. The play style was similar enough. It's same as Fabregas. Early young Fabregas, early Fabregas was like that, you know, like a ten, like an eight and a ten, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, ah, okay. <laughs> but I don't think I've seen the Yaya Toure in this day and age. Oh no, oh, you know okay. the, the closest thing to Yaya Toure. I don't care what you say. Ruben loves his chic. He have lost every plot Lo- that has Ruben landed. Ruben loves his chic. I'm telling you, under Sari. To Yaya. Sam, let's team up. <laughs> let's stop for a minute. To Yaya. Let's stop for a minute. Closest thing. Ah, I didn't say. That? I didn't say. I didn't, I didn't say he was like it. Why are you backtracking on this? Closest thing. Sam, let's team up. <laughs> I'm actually just tired. I want to deal with Chelsea now. Because <laughs> <laughs> what you just said just actually pissed what? me off. You what? See? You love, our, love this cheek. Sam, yeah, man, do you want to start with Chelsea? What do, you, do you want to share your point before we butcher you? I think he'd go for it. But like... Don't expect me to stay here and take it. I will go back and cheat to you. So <laughs> continue. Let me. It's time to send the first attack. You can start. What is wrong with your team, guy? What's wrong? Honestly, there's no style of play. The players are not playing for the badge. They're like, it's too many. There's too many injuries, like, to even work Who's with. injured again? You have all your players back, except mm-hmm. Sanchez. And Sanchez, Reese James, Fofana, Lavia. Fofana's on loan at Burnley. That's striker for Fana. Yes, he's on loan at Burnley. Yes, yeah, centre back for Fana. He's still oh, injured. Yeah, yeah. That's not that's not my fault. He has Achilles tendons like strings. Yeah, okay. I don't see. He's still injured though, isn't he? Bro, bro. Is his tendons? Huh? Is his tendons? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Badia Shield is injured again. Cucurella oh. still injured. What, what, what um, is your gym people doing? Bro, I actually don't know that people are getting injured all the time. Like we still have. We still have like what six defenders missing. Boy, you, bro, uh, what's wrong with the defense? Well, he was the defense on Tiger Silva, the Sassi, um, Ben Chilwell is back. Busto, Cole. Cole. You see, that's the problem. Why is he playing Cowell as a left back? That is giving me a headache. You Dude. know, ever since when he played Chilwell left back and the way Chilwell overlaps, he's been playing better. But like, what yeah, is Cowell playing centre back? Cowell has been injured, so that's why Chilwell has been playing. Man, I don't know what's wrong with you. Your, cl- your whole club is a shambles. Yeah. Like, it's a shambles. I think, yeah. Like, how can you... No, no, can we actually all just think about this Chelsea team for a minute? How can you spend a billion British pounds? You know how many... You know what a billion British pounds is? And still somehow not have backup for injured players? 
Are you, a, you know, a billion, yeah, but a billion they, seconds is 33 years. A million, I can't remember, it's, been, it's, some, it's a small amount. Yeah, but, but still, big, like, even our bankers have been getting injured, though. Like, what do you want us to do about that? But how can you spend a billion and you're having this many injuries? We're still getting injuries, though. Like, they're getting, our backup's backup. It's still backup injuring. <laughs> does that, like, does that, that make sense? That shows that something that is going on. There's something the more scene. wrong. There, in is, the there is something more wrong. Like, but, but I'm not in there. What do you want me to say about it? <laughs> Go and fight them. <laughs> I should fight them. Yeah. Bro, if you book me a trip to London and let me have 10 minutes with them, they will come out scared and they will play better football. They will, ca- they will hoist you. They will carry your two hands. They will Bro, they will carry your I think... You know the what? guy will see what Chelsea play. Move, move, move. start shaking. You know what? They need to put me in the middle of the pitch in Stamford Bridge so I can pray there for 10 days. Is this camera still okay, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I think there's a, there's a few things. But like, I think the way they guys ask the Villa, every time Chelsea win, they'll be like, oh... Chelsea might actually... Chelsea, I'm not going to lie, you're just like my United. Yeah. Well, at least, see, the problem with Chelsea is you don't overgas it. We don't gas it. I don't gas it at all. You don't gas it at all. gas Palmer. I will gas Palmer from... I will even gas Palmer. Cold Palmer. Don't talk. <laughs> you know, you'll sit here and say that. You just this type of person that will sit here and say that he'll take um, Rashford over Cold Palmer. Yes. Yes. You would, you would take Palmer <sighs> over... You think a natural over Cold Palmer? Ah, no, I'll take Palmer. I won't lie. I'll okay. take Palmer. I'll take a natural over Rashford. No, uh, what? exactly. I would take fully. Over I've been saying that, you know. I would take. I would take Ganache over Rashford. Yeah. Look, you need, I'm telling you now. You, just, you, you, you United fans need to get off the boat of Rashford. Let him just go to PSG. If you, cook. if but because Mbappe might actually leave. If he can cash out Rashford, do it. Just cash out. And then know, get a new right winger. You know, you know yourself. You know yourself. It's time to cash out. Don't look. Honestly, you know, you I'm don't, not. You don't, even, don't look. Don't I don't don't let stupid. Don't let you don't let stupidity talk with you. Don't because entirely, honestly, don't honestly, don't I'm let, not no. honestly, Ganacho, Ganacho and Hoyland, and then if you buy a right winger with sense, you know we're looking to sign either Olise or Nico Williams. Our, our scouts like Olise Nico. is injury prone, so yeah. get ready for that as well. Our, our scouts rate Nico higher though because he can. He said two. Oh, Nico Williams, that yeah, he, he, he can be used on both wings and he's quite. Do you know? Do you know one player? Only there's only one player I want to buy. Two players. There's only two players. Gift that ban? No. Tony? Um, I mean, Tony and um, a very cheap. I want to reach Alison. Rich he is playing well, though. R9. Rich, Rich Alison can play anywhere across the tree. So he doesn't yeah, And who? Um, Eze and. Um, Eze? And oh, yeah, to replace. Eze and Tony. Yeah, to... Honestly, uh, the quicker Eze and Olise leave Palace, is the better for them. Yeah. Palace they fans need to Because they don't want. To, but see, if I was if I was Olise, don't go to United. So sorry. I wouldn't go to United either. I'm but so I'd, sorry. But, but I, if I was Olise, I'd go to like. Did you say if you even if you niche City? your? Mm, I thought you were gonna mention his own thing. I'm about to throw my glasses. I, why, why I I'm. I'm violent you? today just to warn you people. What's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> why actually no? But like that ass, where would the Lisa go? I think you should go to. Um, I think you should leave. Do you want, do, I hate to say this so much. Ask him. Yeah. <laughs> I think he will enjoy Spain. I absolutely think he will enjoy but Spain. Where is Spain? Sevilla. Well, that's just low. That's oh, boys, what is going on here? It's like six dinner or something. Yes. Fuck oh, off. <laughs> Matthew Wait. Jack and Rice scored. Rice scored. tell me he scored a hat trick. No, he just scored there. It's just 65. 7 0 now. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 7 0 now. Is it? No, 6 0. United it's, lineup is out. Can you, can you, can you show us that? And I was getting it. And it's the 74th minute. Fucking hell. And I had 7 6 now. Okay, let, let me name out the United and Aston Villa lineup. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Well, guys, um, that's why I'm looking for this. Let's talk about yesterday's event. Where this is what we'll finish on with um, Bayern Munich. <laughs> what do we think? One, well, I don't. I, I you know what? Yeah, the first person that I want to, I want to do two things. I want to laugh. Ah, <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 uh, HK10, come here. So you leave Spurs here yeah, first, you know, it's fair. Okay, well, it is what it is here. Yeah. I thought you would do well on that post in Hungary anyways. I think the Spurs would have been a very, very dangerous team. And you decide to go to Bayern Munich. You get nice silverware. It's not bad. Okay, fair. But your team now has bottled pretty much the the championship that you've been winning for. The, the it's past. not over today. It's over though. It's over today. It's over. Who do you think is touching that Leverkusen team right now? Honestly, I do, you see, the thing is, yeah, Leverkusen are unbeaten, but they're going to get beaten. They're not going to do an invincible season. I are you sure? They're Man, get do, you, do, you, do you imagine this? Shaka here yeah, left Arsenal and he's about to do an invincible season. You know, that's one thing I always say to them. The reason why they didn't win that league because Shaka left. 
I think it is. Worth it's, it left in, was it January or yeah. is it summer? If they Chaka never left, they wouldn't want to leave. Shaka, Shaka left in the summer. I, I summer. always said, as much as I hate Arsenal, there's one player I'd want to take off that team, and that's Shaka. Shaka, should, Shaka is bold. Imagine yeah. Shaka and Declan Rice. Shaka, Shaka at any team is going to change the mentality because that guy plays plays with plays for his with his life. Like it's like he plays every game like it's his last game. Mm, that's why I like Vidic. Uh, I see. This is why. This is why the comeback because that was, that was. Remember when he when he was hated for like when he was cursing at the Arsenal fans. Then that comeback. I don't blame him though for doing that. Yeah, the Arsenal fans were giving it to him. How can you be? You can see, you can only take so much though. Wait, we we'll, we we'll go back to that. Let's finish with this Kane thing first of all. Harry Kane. If Tottenham win that league somehow in a miracle that like, miracle on thirty first Street. 34th Street. And I said this. I want to ask you this question. If Spurs won the league somehow and Bayern didn't, do you think that's the biggest L a player took in his oh, career? Oh, yeah. I don't think there's another... History. There's not another... A player history. of that caliber. I don't think there's another L. History. That is as similar. So I was like... I was just like... like I just said to myself... Even Dyer went. He left. He packed his loads. He went to go and join him. Yeah, he had to leave, Loki, man. <laughs> he was not... But I just yeah, even Dyer was playing yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of like... I just kind of like... I was like, how are you lose? Like, I was like, how are you leaving Spurs wanting to win trophies and your team are basically out of the only chance he has the champ, the Champions League. I think Bayern could win the Champions League though. If you won the Champions League, then fuck, fair play to him. But yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think if he doesn't win that league that and, they do, and they do shit next season, he's coming back to Spurs. I don't think, I, think, I, I, don't, th- I don't think they're keep too good either. Why do, why do I say he won't go back to Spurs? I think he will go to another. He will go to another team because he, he's already no, I think done. He's gonna it. go back to Spurs. He's already done it. Like uh, the reason why he wants to go back to Spurs is because I think that he wants to smash that Premier League record. And I think that crook has a buyback clause on him. <laughs> My crook. I know. I feel like that crook has a buyback clause on him. That's that true. board. <laughs> that board man. But he still has to agree though. He still has to agree. On he's gonna come back. Can, can, that's his home. Can, can, that's his home, man. Like, he will like, come back. He and the way he left was like someone that just went to take a quick trip and is coming back. Mm. Okay, I keep using that one to do it too. No, because look at the way he left. He just recorded a video on the phone and said, Hi guys, I'm going to be leaving, going to Bayern now, blah, 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 blah. But you never know, I may be back soon. That's encrypted message basically saying, I'm coming back, <laughs> but not now. Mm. Oh, because he's going to go to Manchester United. Go away with your stupid team, man. Your team, your team that, your team that spent... I didn't even say anything. <laughs> Anyways, let me tell you the team. Um, So we have Onana and Go, Dalo, Maguire, Varane, Shaw, Casemiro, Manu, Fernandez, Fernandez and Ganacho Hoyle and Rashford on your bench is I don't know this guy's name. <laughs> no mind the bench. Ask the last team now. Oh, Ahmad. Okay. Um, Amrabat, Erickson, Forson, Tomney, Anthony. As the middle team is Martinez, Cash, Carlos, Langley, Moreno, Kamara, McGinn, Louise, Ramsey, Bailey, and Watkins. Um, you know Ramsey likes to score. Yeah, Diaby's like. on the bench as well. Who? Diaby and Telemans. They bench the guy that scored, okay. Yeah. But we'll see what happens that much anyways. But um, yeah, guys, look, I think we had a pretty decent conversation today. Mm. We did hit a lot of points. Sam, I, I genuinely believe you need to be ready to back your talk. About oh, I'm, I'm going to be in the comments. I promise you. <laughs> I'm going to be in the um, comments. It's good. Look, at least we're going to be getting back on track now for every two weeks. And yeah. Um, yeah, guys, we hope you enjoyed the episode. Always, like we say, comment, like, share, subscribe, hate, love, do all what you want. Just, yeah. And what I will say is thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today. And happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. And, oh, yeah, let's start our song again. Super Eagle. Ah. Arise, come, Eh, eh. Nigerians go to be to serve the fatherland ah, to win a call hooray <laughs> anyways guys we thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed ah oh mom that was a good episode <laughs> okay, Sam. Sam what are you I'm not fighting oh my god I'm not, I'm, I refuse to have it